this. That's what the word on the street was. There's a couple new places in here. So let's look at this real quick. Yeah, Margaret, I tried to keep keep myself out of trouble with Wendy, but you know what's funny is that she doesn't want me to cross, uh, cross a uh, street without going through the crosswalk, but she doesn't have any trouble causing so much trouble in a bar that we all get kicked out. You guys didn't see how many bars we were kicked out of. You only saw the stream for the places we went before where we were able to stream, but she won't tell you about those places. Wow, look at this. Ooh February, February, November, March. This November? Yeah, November. Well, that looks a little bit... Ooh, look at that Peruvian steamed fish. Oh, no, you didn't miss it yet, Sharon. We're going to do it. This location, we're on the, on the corner of Kalakaua, right here. Kalakaua, right here. That's the main street going through Waikiki and Ala Moana Boulevard right there. Uh, we're not going to get the uh, lobster roll, though that's a favorite of ours. It's good. It's just not perfect, you know. I was actually looking forward to that place right there, doggone it. That's the place I was looking forward to, that burger. I was going to get that burger about the, that's the size of a small dog. We've eaten over here before. They've got, they have now, they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen places here. How about that? I know this guy. He's at all the. Yes, but we would have two more uh, Waikiki trolleys passes to give away. I mean, it's a it's a give and take, Margaret. Look at this Thai restaurant. Uh, that looks pretty darn good. So uh, here's the poke. What do you guys want? There's that poke. I'm going to see if there's a burger down here just because I had my mind set on it. If not, then we'll do whatever you guys vote for. But this, how about this is a uh, nice destination, huh? Yeah, four, four, uh, four great trucks down here. I mean, I don't know how good they are, I mean, but they look really good. Wow, look at that. Those dumplings, pot stickers too. Woo-wee! Hey, Wendy, that Michelle, Michelle right there, she's staying at the Waikiki Beach Towers. You might want to ask her about that place, if, you, if you're still interested, I guess. Wow, look at this. The Vietnamese. Oh, plant-based. No, thank you. Oh, how does this look right here, guys? What do you guys think of this? Do you want to try, or do you want to try something a little more exotic? I was going to get a cheeseburger, but we could try something more exotic if you like. You pick. Yeah, they're here all day from, the time varies. I know I know they're here from like 8, a couple of them are here from 8. They have the burrito, breakfast burritos till 10 at night. And I'll show you exactly where it is once we leave here. Did you really? Look at you. Wow, I know that wasn't an easy. Okay, we may come back to that burger. I'm going to walk over here real quick.
Yeah, I don't know what that guy's cooking over there. I thought he was. I thought he had said barbecue. Man, if he had barbecue, I'd be on that like dots on dice, man. Boom. Here we go. Part. You open? Yeah, yeah. All right. This is what I was talking about right here. Okay. All right. What's your best? What's your best plate? Or your best whatever? Um, you know, half pound brisket. Okay. Do you have that? Do you have like a combo? I do Can not. you do that and you have put something else with it? No, I don't split it like that. Okay. It is what it is. Okay. Very simple. Uh, all right. So. No, no, no. I'm gonna do two then. <laughs> you just make you make it easy. Yeah, try to, try to. So let's do. Can we do a spare ribs and the beef brisket? We cannot. Okay. <laughs> ribs are on Saturday. Okay. Uh, so what kind of barbecue do you have today? That's not brisket. So I have my Texas bacon. What's that? Funny you should ask that question. Texas bacon. Shut. Is it a? What's it come on? A uh, half pound or a sandwich or a uh, quesadilla. Okay, and this uh, this beef brisket half pound for eighteen dollars. What's that come on? That half pound of brisket. That's it. No, no That's it. nothing no else. Sides, no, uh, Do you have sides? Huh? Do you have sides like? No sides. I'm in a tent. Well, yeah. I mean, you're here too, so I thought I'd ask. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying I'm in a tent, so I don't have the space to do all that. I got you. Okay, uh, so I'll, I'll try the uh, Texas Bacon BLT and the beef brisket. You want a BLT and a half pound? Yeah. Okay. How's your day going? Uh, good so far. How about yours? So I think we're getting away. <laughs> don't do that. Nah, I don't need a sample. It's gonna be good. I think he's gonna kill this. Are you from Texas? I used to live in a town called Alvin. I don't know if you know Texas at all. Called where? Alvin. Oh, Alvin, yeah, I know Alvin, yeah. I know Hondo, Texas, and Midland, and Amarillo, and San Antonio, and okay. all, all over there. Waco. Oh. You get your name right there? Yeah, it's a, it's a small town. Six years. Off and on. Off and on. Yeah, me too. Really? Sort of an off and on guy. It's just the 80s. These tips before are bullshit. Do <laughs> right, you need me to sign it or no? Okay, good. All right, thanks a lot. That's all right. I'm I'm waiting for you. No problem. Yes, you heard me say BS. <laughs> it's no bueno. I don't know why they do that. I usually don't, when they do that, I don't tip. I just come back afterwards and I do a uh, dollar amount. <laughs> but he just sells just the meat, but I wanted to try diff different things. And, you know, he sees that I'm, I, I'm on, I don't know. I don't know why he wouldn't do that. I would say, dude, let me give you a combo of everything, car charge you $30. I don't care what he charged. I just wanted a sample, but... We'll see. Friday night special? No, it's not Friday night yet. It's Friday day. Friday day. 
So let me show you where we are. I'll, sh I'll show you the location. So it's right on Kalakawa and Ala Moana Boulevard. So let me show you where we are. Yeah, he was kind of pushing that tip thing on me hard, and I didn't want to mess with it, so I just said, all right. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's Hilton Hawaiian Village. That's the Ilikai. This is Ala Moana Boulevard. This boulevard takes you all the way around, obviously past Ala Moana Beach, the park, and the mall, and it takes you all the way into Nimitz, into uh, the airport. This is Kalakaua that comes in from uh, Honolulu, right there, and that's Kapiolani. Not this street, but the next street is Kapiolani. Those two main streets where they cross, that, those are two big, um, uh, very popular streets. And as you know, Kalakaua takes you straight in to Waikiki. So this is really pretty centrally, centrally located, and they've actually grown the number of... Uh, the number of trucks they've had here for, you know, since when we first started coming out. I guess this is a pizza. They have a little wood-fired uh, oven right here. Yeah, see this? There's a breakfast sandwich. That's the one I was telling you about. They're here like 8 o'clock in the morning. Lili Koi pancakes. Yikes. Wow, that looks good, huh? We should come back here for this. I didn't see what Wendy said. What'd you say? Yeah, he does. He's got kind of a smart mouth. I'm not a fan of that. But, you know, we'll see. Do you have any drinks by the, by chance? Okay. Uh, the, my favorite here is the poke spot around the corner. Yeah. They got uh, pineapple iced tea. Yeah. I'll grab here. I just need some water or something. But that's it. That's oh, the yeah, pressure I think. Yeah. Not everybody. Huh? Not everybody. Fair <laughs> yeah. Just crazy, man. Unbelievable. Why would you come with no sides? You have an ice chest. You can haul a little something for your water, for some sides. Dios mio. Hello, my hey, friend. How, how are you are doing? You? Do you have a bottle of water? Yes, of course. Can I get that from you, please? $2. Oh, perfect, man. Thank you. Gosh, perfect. There you go, sir. All right, bro. Thank you. I appreciate it. Enjoy. All Have right. Thank you. Yeah, he's he's just not rubbing my uh, my warm and fuzzies with uh, just not. <laughs> Maybe I'm being rude to him, too. I don't know. But I'm just like, you know. When he, you, I don't know if you saw, but when I was like filling out the the card, I put my name. He said, "Put your name down." I put it down. I go to put it, and he, he hit the tip thing right away. And I said, "Why do you put the tip?" You heard me when I said, that, "Why do you put the tip thing first or something like that?" And then he just kind of, sh you know, pushed it, <laughs> like you know, just just pick something. So I did. Hopefully, his his barbecue is spectacular, and he gives us a lot of it. Well, you know, um, we're not we're not like the biggest, baddest, best, whatever, you know. But guys, I mean, he's if if you if you walked up to him and say, hey, listen, I'm going to put your not an ad, but I'll put your best service, best food, in front of say 15,000 people who are going to be in Hawaii between today and the next year, or maybe a year and a half, or something like that. Would that be worth? A dollar to you, or two dollars to you, or five dollars to you, or a hundred. I mean, what's it worth to you? It may not be worth anything, but man, always assume that these people are going to, you know, people like me that are, you know, uh, streaming are going to be putting you out to a bunch of people and just act. And even even if that's not the case, if it's just he and I, he should be super nice, polite. And the fact that he doesn't have sides isn't my issue. He gets an attitude that he doesn't have. It. I'm good. I'm good. If you don't have it, just be cool about it. You know, I didn't plan your stupid tent, <laughs> you know. So anyway, let's take a look. It smells super good. That's one reason why I wanted to continue to try it because it looks really, really good.
Damn, it smells so good. Gee, many Christmas. Look at that. That's the uh, bacon right there. Wow. So, you, Wendy, you booked uh, Ohia, huh? That's crazy. That's good. Well, actually, I'm glad you did. You're going to be right in the heart of everything. Yeah, I think that place right back there behind me is the one that has the pizza oven. <laughs> yeah, and you get to see, I mean, the real, real, real deal. I mean, you get to see it, you know. That's why I like these. Let's see. As a matter of fact, funny you guys should bring that up. So in talking with the pig and the lady people today, so most of you know pig and the lady, right? And this is just, this is part of where the board meeting talk comes on. So, or comes in, because we're just, we're just talking and deciding some things. So you've been to the pig and lady, or you've seen it, or you've seen their streams. Uh, not calling any particular YouTube streamers out because they do a great job. They have a much, much bigger YouTube reach than we do. I think they do a great job. They make a living doing it. They got a family, so I'm not disparaging them. I, I, they shouldn't change a thing. However, one of the things they did say to me was, uh, you know, if you come in, we want you to do, you know, if you, you come in, um, you got to come in during a certain hour. You have to do it during a certain time. Uh, we can only serve so many different things and that type of thing. Uh, and they're very, very kind. And I understand they're very, very busy. They don't need us at all. But they like the exposure, you know. They can always use new business, I guess. But And I told and, and it was more of like the length of time that it took and that type of thing. And so I told them, I said, here's how we're different. Number one, when a YouTube channel comes in and shoots, they shoot, they edit it, they put it up on their on their channel, and then that's about it. You know, it gets a lot of views. They get a lot of... Uh, comments again their channels are much much bigger than ours on youtube but on facebook ours is much bigger and we get more views on our on, on our on our uh page uh in addition to that um not only do we before before we do the shoot and i'm telling her this i said well let me back up i said so she said she just wants us to come in and do the shoot on a certain hour certain time and then get and leave and not take up so much time like other people have in the past I told her, I said, here's what we'll do. You tell us when you want us to be there. I'm going to walk in as if I am a consumer and no one is going to know any different. I'm going to walk in. I'll do the order. I'm talking to the people that are all over the world watching and then we'll order it. We'll eat it, give comments on it and leave. No one is going to know that I'm any different than any other, other you or not YouTuber, but a tourist that comes in taking, you know, silly photos. Find something for the ladies and come back. Uh, please. Yeah, thank you. you. Guys, look at that. Man, if it tastes like it smells, man, forget it. Dang. Smells unbelievably good. I'm going to do it. I'm going to take some of this. I'll be right back, amigo. God dang, that looks so good. Um, so let me just finish up. And then, then I told her, I said, I'm going to come in. We're going to shoot it, eat it, and leave. I said, but the upside for us is that we are not only going to promote it for probably two or three weeks before. We're going to promote it when it goes live. We'll promote it two or three weeks afterwards. And then, you know, we'll do giveaways. I'd like to buy some gift certificates from you if you like. And now she's really, really, really excited about doing that then. So anyway, guys, check this out. So this is the
Okay, this guy may have redeemed himself just based on the, the, the look of it. Can you guys see that okay? Actually, you know what? I want to try something here if you don't want. It, it may jump a little bit. Let me try something here because I think this can help us out. Yes, there it is. I knew that would be the case. Okay, check this out. You guys can see that okay. Is this better? See, now this is why I like to do a live stream video, not some silly produced video. I mean, this is great. But I want it to be uh, live and you know what I mean. All right, now let's get busy. Let's get these flies off of here. I want to try this without any sandwich. I'm going to try it just like this. Barbecue sauce and spicy mustard. Let's try this. And no, I didn't wash my hands. For the guy who always says, or who says, you always say you like it. You always say it's like the best. Guess what? You're going to hate this. Oh my God. That is one of the best pieces of meat, tastiest pieces of meat I have tried in a long, 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 long time. Gosh almighty. This is, that is remarkable. He earned that $5 tip. My gosh, I mean, that is unbelievably good. God dang, I don't even want to put it on that sandwich. But let's try this brisket. Wow. Man, I need to... <laughs> Guys, this is... I don't remember what kind of bacon he called that. But that is like thick uh, bacon. Cooked really, really, really good on the edge here. Oh my God. No joke, guys. That's one of the best sandwiches, sandwich meats I've ever had. I know, Gerard. What's up with that, man? Flies aren't going to hurt anything. They need mac salad or potato salad or something right there. Let's try this brisket. If this this brisket is anything, we'll try it with no uh, nothing on it. So let's look at that. Can you see that okay? Look at that. Oh my God. Guys, we have found a new favorite. Get out of here. A new favorite barbecue place. This is... Um, how much was this? Do you guys remember how much it was? There is a barbecue place inside of... Uh, Cajillo Food Court. Duke's, uh, right next to Duke's Lane, Cuyo Food Court. I thought that was one of the best. It, it wasn't the best, but it was one of the best barbecues I'd had in a long, long time. This is on a different level. That, and that just tells you how, how good it is. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's right. It was. It's was $1,800. Yeah, it needs It needs rice. Lance it needs rice or whoever just wrote that. Lance is maybe just agreeing with someone, I, I think. Whoever said it first. And you guys know, who did we have that was not that good? Lulu's was not that good. It just so happens that we're lucky that we pull, you know, we, we go to some really, really good places. This is, hands down, the best barbecue in White, uh, Hawaii that I've ever had. So this was $18, right? I think this one was not one of it was 18, I think 18 and 15. 
Oh my gosh. Look at that. What you need to do is this. Maybe put this on that sandwich too. So let's try the sandwich. He toasted that bun right as we were right as he was, uh, cooking it. Oh my goodness. Honestly, you could have that meat right there without that sandwich, but that sandwich together, it's a, he grilled that bun. Oh my goodness. And he has a sauce on here too. It's not mustard. I said it was mustard, but it is not mustard. You guys know the guy, the the guy that has the uh, the big pink pig on the side of the truck. He's at all the Cahio or all the uh, Kalakawa uh, street fairs. I don't even need that barbecue sauce. I'm trying it only because I want to try his sauce. That guy's pink pig or red pig or what it's called pig barbecue used to be my favorite of all. This is better. Yeah, you could. That barbecue sauce is good. It's not... I mean, I don't know how you'd make it to make it significantly better or significantly different than other barbecue, barbecue sauces. I think you need to make it either saltier or less salty, sweeter, less sweet, hotter or less hot. But there's nothing like super remarkable about it. There is something remarkable about this. Waikiki Wendy Silva, this is your next stop when you come back. And it's a simple sandwich. It has that soft. I'm sorry I've got food in my mouth, but man, it's so, so good. Um, that dude needs someone else serving in front of house because he's horrible at it. <laughs> But he is a great, great, great cook. And I'm sure he'd probably be in a better mood if he had um, all the... I'm, I'm sure he doesn't enjoy telling people he doesn't have this, I don't have that. I'm sure that's not a, a joyful thing for him, so he's probably just getting a little bit annoyed. Wow. You get that meat in every every bite that you take. It's I don't know I, I wonder if that's some sort of I know pulled pork or pork belly is a lot is bacon. But it tastes better than pull, uh, uh, pork belly. And just uh, kind of not full disclosure, but just to give you, I was a little bit concerned because it looked a little bit undercooked, but it's not. It just that's how white that that meat is, and it doesn't get. Uh, yeah, I did eat that piece right off the table. I don't care if there's pig or pigeon poop on it. Makes you stronger. Michelle, these are at on the corner of Kalakawa and Alamoana Boulevard. Do you know where that is? Yeah. This sandwich was, uh, I think the sandwich was 18. And the brisket was 18. I don't know. So just based on what you guys have seen so far, um, do you think you'd stop by here? Or no, be honest. The brisket was 18? Okay, and I'll find out how much the sandwich is. I'll go there. But if you guys know, if you know for sure, 
I can't believe I'm eating this with no sauce. Look at that. Frisco was 18, the sandwich was 16. Okay, good. That's worth it. I wouldn't normally eat all that, eat that much, but I'm gonna eat all of it. I'm just sorry I didn't bring Lucille. She would have loved some of this. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, how was the quality of that stream yesterday going to YouTube and Facebook? I thought it was really good. I watched it back on a couple of different uh, platforms. Look good. Yes, yes. Well, there you go. Do you know what? I'm going to tell him. I'm going to try this with some of the sauce, which you don't need. You don't need this sauce on here. You don't need it for the flavor and you don't need it for the moisture. Even though he has a crap attitude, I'm going to write that out just because he almost got towed. He said it's probably one of his first days here or something. And I'm sure he doesn't like telling people, no, I don't have water or whatever. But he definitely needs to have water because I, I'll be honest with you, too. Again, if it weren't for you guys, I would have walked away. If I was on stream with you guys, I would have walked away. And I'm glad I didn't. I would have been wrong for doing it. I would have been wrong for doing so. So I counted about 12 people, 15 people said they'd come. I'm going to tell him that uh, to ride down going to Hawaii and go check this stream out, which he won't do. And I'll tell him he needs to, needs to join it so he can contribute and people will know who he is, which he won't do. Guys, that, watch this. That brisket, you know how it's usually hard, like on the corners like that? You have to kind of saw through it? Not here. I don't know why I put it in a sauce. You don't need it. I've been to Buddy's at Armorello, Texas. What is it? Royals in Kansas City, I think it's called. And it's like the best barbecue that's out there. I'm streaming. This is the guy. What's your name? Dom. Dom. Tony. What's up, Tony? Uh, you want to be on? Talk to him a little bit. Cool. I'm, we're on uh, Facebook. We have like, we're live streaming. Here you go. Dude, let me tell you something. That's the best brisket I've ever had. This, you got, what is, what was, what was on that sandwich? What's that called? Bacon? Uh, what'd you call it? Texas bacon. What is, is that pork belly? Yeah. That's the best pork belly I've had. I, I, I swear to God, and I didn't want to. I didn't want to like it. I'm being honest. I'm telling you, but is I told them this. Uh, they're they're all these people are from New Zealand and Australia and Europe and all over. And I just asked them. I said, based on what I've just done, because we do these. It's called Let's Eat streams. Okay. Would you come here? Fifteen of them are. I know there's a bunch more, but at least fifteen said they would. Mayreen, Cindy, Tom. This uh, that bacon is no joke. That's the best I've ever had. Seriously, it is. There was a place in, uh, there's a place I think it's called Pete. And I don't know why I put this on there because you don't need it. You don't need the sauce at all. No, but people like sauce. But there's a place that's the Pink Pig or Pink something that's at all the food food events. He used to have the best. I guarantee it, yours is better. Absolutely better. So we're, the, the, name, the name of our group is uh, Going to Hawaii. If you, uh, if you want to do maybe yourself a favor, I would join that. It's on Facebook, and just interact with some of these people. You've got a bunch of fans here. There'll be probably 8,000 people or so that watch this by the weekend. Nice. Yeah, but I, when I walk back through there, I want to show you all your prices. How much was this again? 18? Oh, yeah. And how much was the sandwich? 13 or 14? Okay, thir so 18, 13, 14. Man, that's, that's crazy. Crazy good. Great job, man. Some of the best I've ever had. That's all right. Some of the best I've ever had. And I've... 
And I was just telling him as you walked up, I've been to, what is it, Billy Jay's and Am Amarillo, the place in Kansas City called Royals. I've been to them all. This, I'm telling you, this is the best I've had. That's, that's no joke. And I'd say it if it wasn't, but the, it's, it's awesome. You did a great job, bro. Appreciate it. Very, very good. God, dang. The thing that makes it so much better than the other place I've been to is you have to put, I know I just put it on here just because I want to taste that sauce, but you don't need the sauce on any of this. It's completely tender. He did a great, great job making the sandwich. He put a lot of meat on the sandwich. He could have put one strip less and it was, still would have been good, but he put four big strips on there. Um, so 13 and 18 or something like that, that was a that was a great, great deal. He just, you know, he just not really personable. Maybe he doesn't, you know, doesn't want to be or whatever, but he definitely needs to get sides and he and he could order, he could probably charge two dollars more. And he needs to get some water or some drinks in an ice chest. For God's sakes, that's what most of these people have. There you go, job done. What did I say? I said, man, I'm not that hungry. I, I can eat another one of the sandwiches right now. I promise you that. Wow, my friends, that was no joke. Wow, so good. <laughs>